Today is a quick tip. What is better than the noise gate? And it's called a noise suppressor. And it's included in Reaper and it's free to download as a VST for any other DAW software. And it's called Refire. And it's used as a noise suppression, noise canceller. And it is better for the guitar, overdriven guitar, than a noise gate. And it uses very less CPU. I, by the way, this is a Space Invader I remade. I made that some time. This time I do some game programming on the uh, low res NX game fantasy console. You <laughs> program and basic and do great game on this. So I reproduce and do a, <laughs> a tribute to original 1978 Space Invader on that console. Maybe I'll put the link in the description if you want. So let's go for the tip, quick tip of today. So you know, you don't want that noise, you know, that noise, hissing noise from amp sims, just like, for example, I use a Prophet and to, um, you know, the United Amps, you know, the impulse loader. So the tip is really simple, just place between the amp sim and the impulse loader, the refi plugin. And what you're going to do with this, you enable this, go to Substract. So what you see now is the noise profile from the amp. So to do that, turn off the volume of the guitar, go back to this, use Substract. I uh, really, really recommend to put the F50 size to 128 because uh, it's really low latency. More than that, it's uh, really useless and uh, of course take a lot of lag and latency 128 is almost so i got already uh, you know i can do a reset for this example so this is the noise profile uh, all you have to do is check automatically build noise profile enabled during noise so check it and let the noise profile get profile Okay, that's how. So, difference within, without. So, if you put the guitar in, no noise. Yeah, yeah, and I can hear some of you guys. Okay, you, hey, hey, Bruno, you did that. Uh, you know, uh, about the plugin and you know Vadim Taranov um, uh, noise canceller from Vadim Taranov yeah but this one used less CPU and of course uh, it's less buggy it's really ac accurate and it's as simple as that and whatever the reason why I put that between the amp and the, the impulse loaders is because you get the profile of the AC hem and then remove that is and then you can change any whatever the impulse you you, you put and then it works for all if you put the refi at the end just next to the uh, impulse you get the pro noise profile from the noise through the impulse cab it's really important to, for the amp direct amp output get the profile noise for that and you get the best something that's really best better than a fucking noise gate as well as you for tapping and it was wonderful so thanks for watching this is this is my tips of <laughs> today's tips and see you next time